And we're back, everybody. We're gonna do the next main story quest, because I slept a whole bunch at the Tree of Ana, and after a whole day, still couldn't get Carol to show up, so we're doing that one in a different chapter. All right, so we got the key here. Gotta meet with Olivia. Uh-oh. Oh, no. And the game closed! A strong Sick. start, everybody! All right, take two. Don't crash, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Oh, oh. Bummer. Be back soon, everybody. Fun fact for behind the scenes here. Madrai decided that to start this episode, he'll try to use the flare out. Oh, oh yeah, I, I tried to use the radio and I missed. <laughs> I hit the flare. Uh, right, so I'm it's... fired in a mist. Yeah, fuck, Jesus, I thought of that too. Okay, so it's been like two months. I finally figured out how to fix this glitch. Um, so uh, it's literally just smoke for hours and hours inside of the place. God, it's so jittery and weird. If you smoke Whoa. all the way to closing time, you get a bonus cutscene where Nick kicks you out, which I didn't know existed. And for whatever reason, according to Steam, they allow forms, you to smoke indoors. If that's weird enough as is, uh, but for whatever reason, uh, if you smoke here long enough and you get kicked out, then it just won't crash when you go in the back lot. Although you run into a different weird issue. I guess it's not an issue. It's just you'll see. Sorry, we're closing up. Could you leave now? Is it that time already? We're open from 09 to 2100. Very well. That's it for today then. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Okay. Unbelievably delicious. So they're closing. Now we need to secretly meet with Olivia in the back lot of the a and diner. But because it's closing time, Nick's routine is to be in the back lot. So he's right there watching us do this with the key that we shouldn't have. Oh no, he hasn't appeared yet. Has he not? Whoa, oh, Jesus. Oh, there he is. Hi, Nick. Just doing a secret meeting with your wife. You could hear Nick leave the lot behind us. Just don't make it a three-way, all right? Why is well, my then, smoke Olivia coming from my me. butt? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Really bad indigestion. In the beginning, Nick only went to the gallery during the day. But he went so often, at some point, he became friendly with Diane. They started going out drinking together. And now he doesn't come home. I have a cigarette in my mouth and my hand. <laughs> <laughs> double, double dipping. I liked how Emily looked very invested in the conversation and York couldn't give any less of a shit. I mean, I couldn't take it anymore. So I followed him. He did go to the bar to start with. Diane was there too, but the real problem. <laughs> <I'm just laughs> <like you're laughs> Let me just add another cigarette to my mouth. I waited outside the bar. That's a glitch. I was go. hoping it would happen eventually. <laughs> I've had it happen when he was in a sleeping <laughs> scene before we had a cigarette in his mouth for no reason. Was, that can't be safe. It was already early morning, but it was still dark. Just before going inside, Diane turned uh. around. The way that sentence is worded. Too dark to Before see. going inside Diane. I swear, <laughs> her eyes looked right at me. They seemed to flash for a moment. Uh, oh. I was so rattled that I left and went home. The next day, Anna was found dead. I, I didn't know what to do. <laughs> Camera? Okay. <laughs> Is he? Oh, they're putting one out. Okay. I thought he was getting another one. Confront her. 
once I was there, I couldn't find the courage to go through with it. Then I saw you there, and I just felt I had to go home. Nick has been seeing Diane every night recently. <laughs> he just left for tonight, too. I, I, I really don't know what to do. <laughs> York, we ought to take Nick in for questioning. No, not yet. This alone isn't enough. <laughs> that is not supposed to be Emily. there. I need a third cigarette. This is Emily. Agent York is with me, too. And his third, second I've cigarette. I've received word from Thomas at the Sheriff's Department. Something has happened at Becky's house. It was called in by Quinn, but he wasn't making any sense. We have no further details. I've sent Thomas over there. Can you go back him up? Yes, sir. One other thing. It sounded like he said, raincoat killer. This may well be related to the murder case. Maybe. Do precautions. No. It couldn't be. Nick. Oh, please, no. What can I do? Nick. Olivia. <laughs> that was spontaneous. Down. Yeah. <laughs> Emily, take care of Olivia. I'm heading over to Becky's. She lives in the big house over by the lake. Hurry! Good thing we have our badass car, because we did all the Lysander quest. Serious. Damn it, Zach. We may have screwed up during the investigation. Alright! Okay, so what case are we going on, or what chapter are we going on to again? Because I gotta, I gotta really pay attention to the side quest numbers here. Uh, just because there's a, there's like one quest line that we could miss that we've been trying to do for like fucking so many this, episodes. This screen capture is not accurate because the beard. is clean shaven. Yeah. And also because he doesn't have a cigarette in his mouth. Also because of that, yes. Also his hand looks like it should be holding one. Also, his suit is different. Yeah, there's a lot wrong. And also, he's African American, but sec secretly white. <laughs> oh no, it's still in his <laughs> mouth. <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this. Becky's house is by the lake. Oh my God. Oh, oh shit, no. I gotta remember the controls with C. There we go. Okay. Episode two, part one, ten. Okay, so we're still in chapter ten. God. Okay, I'm gonna have to check the map. Um. So Becky's is it's the it's house this by the way. lake. They told yeah. us twice. Yeah, I know. It's just I'm trying to remember. Yeah, that's the path. Okay, because you know the map rotates as you move, which is really obnoxious. So mm. I just want to go left, follow Head this left. curve, and okay, that's yeah. easy. Then once you hit the lake, drive into it. Yeah. Oh, oh man, it's so floaty. I forgot, my car is awesome, but it's also insane! <laughs> da, 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 oh my da, da, god! Da, 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 da. Yeah, it really doesn't help that I'm controlling this on a keyboard. See, so, you know, when I hit left or right, it's going full tilt left and right. And I can't ease up on the gas. What if I hold shift for sprint? Oh my god! What? Whoa! Whoa, I did That was some... That wasn't like e-brake or anything, that was sprint and turn. Holy shit! Oh my god! <laughs> I wasn't even holding shift that time! Wow. Wow. It, my car's so quiet though, isn't it? I know. Hybrids, am I right? Even when I'm- Oh my god! I didn't hit <laughs> a direction! What happened? Did he hit you me? He hit a hill, obviously. I- Oh my god, holy shit. I kind of love this car. It makes the driving more exciting. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh Jesus Christ. Count down to tilting on your wheels in three, <laughs> two, ah! one. I uh, wasn't close enough. A, I wasn't even holding shift. Holy shit. I wonder if I should be switching to the controller for the driving parts now. Just so there's like an analog stick. Oh get out of my way, I'm a danger to myself and others! Oh my <laughs> god! What the fuck? I Do a barrel roll, I press Z or L twice. I didn't press anything at the time, I just veered left because I could. What the fuck is this car? Okay. It's just an F-Zero car, but what disguised. What the fuck? I didn't press anything! Oh my god. 
I'm still making better time than if I was using the fucking police car, though. Because that thing is slow. You know what? I think it's safer if I just hold W a little and then let go and drift, you know? Mm hmm Sorry. That's all he would say since I got here. Quint, tell me, what did you see in there? Damn. Damn. Did you see the raincoat killer? Damn. 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 I like to think it's the subtitles, yeah. uh, like the subtitle guy trying to figure out what he's saying. Thomas, did you see Nick here? Oh, Becky! No. When I got here, he was already like this. Oh, he should be here soon. Call George and tell him to get over here. Wait out here. You guys not going to get out of the rain? Once they both get here, follow George's orders, okay? Yes. But Agent York, isn't it dangerous to go in there alone? Don't worry. Not with my sword. Oh, we do have a flamethrower now. Zach, let me smoke one first. <laughs> Wait! Zach, I haven't had enough today. To clear my head so I can take everything in. It's not like I was sucking on one like a lollipop earlier. You mean two. At a time. Yeah. <sighs> Zach, they're here too. I had a nasty feeling about this. Let's hope it's not a big welcoming party. So is this what it looks like whenever he does smoke or whenever he does not smoke? Who knows? This is a visual representation of what withdrawal looks like. That's what I choose to interpret it as. Okay, just I guess so. Remembering the controls a little bit. All right, yeah, yeah. Okay, the Wesley special was at the flamethrower. Yeah. Wow, that's a fast reload. I wonder what the range on that is. And I got the Magnum, infinite ammo Magnum. That was a thing I got from the Gravekeeper's place. Thomas just hears you shooting in inside, <laughs> just like in the foyer, just like. Well, what? oh, what the we fuck? Oh my god, did I get that in time? Oh, I thought I, I did. Don't think so. Oh god, the audio is crackling like crazy all of a sudden. I might have to restart my computer. That happens sometimes with uh, with my audio setup. Jesus Christ. I think it doesn't come out on the recording though, which is the nice thing. Yeah, if, if it means anything, you're also really crackly on Discord. All right. Uh, back in a second, everybody. All right, everybody, we're back to this part. Jesus Christ. Flaming Moe's was in season three. I didn't realize that. Oh, wow, that early. Sorry, we were talking oh, about yeah. Simpsons while we were getting back to this point. Old, good Simpsons. How did we get on the topic again? I... It was like parodies of stuff. I think we were talking about parodies of stuff, yes, and Simpsons did a lot of good parodies way back. But back to the murder mystery. It was the raincoat killer. I solved it. Zach, that's a strange coincidence. Look, red velvet, just like the place where Anna was murdered. Which means Anna was murdered again. I could really use a cigarette in my mouth. Oh. All right, let's see what we can see in here. Uh, nothing. Hands? A, a shadow. I, yeah. Maria. <laughs> Maria. I ever since I started speed running Silent Hill 2, I can't stop saying Maria, because a character in that game is called that. Nice. Someone tied up on the floor. Probably Becky. A face. Probably Becky. Probably. I really can't tell. The hair looks blonde, face which isn't is right. So big. All right. I yeah. pretty much couldn't see shit. Huh. <sighs> I couldn't see shit. Too much noise. We're still missing a vital piece of the puzzle. <laughs> still missing everything. 
Oh, I'm allowed to just crash on the couch. That seems not wise. Oh, hey, I can save right here. Man, I should have just came into the next room and saved when the crackling was happening. Ah, uh, I guess a cutscene would get fucked. Oh, let's get cherry pie, because I think we're actually quite low on food. Uh, we don't need to change suit right now, I don't think. I'm pretty sure my suit's pretty clean. All right, let's start exploring. All right, I forgot, I gotta run through doors. You get through them faster that way. Like every season of The Simpsons after season 11. I, what? Exploring. Oh, adventure. yes, everything's an adventure after season 11. Actually, including season 11. Uh, is this a good weapon? Uh, not really. Well, I probably could have just one shot her with the Magnum. Yeah, I think I might just keep the Magnum out. All right, still experimenting with the new weapon, seeing what works and what doesn't. Amazing. Amazing. Is he not dead? Some Magnum. I might want to stick with my uh, infinite ammo SMG. So much gun. I, can I break these? Oh no, you can't get through the mannequins. <laughs> I can't just shove them. I need to start open firing. Uh? Oh, I didn't even see that guy coming out of the wall. Oh, I got that one guy with a shoulder shot and he died. Huh. Ah, they're just spawning more of them. Ooh, the reload on this is pretty slow, though. Amazing. Amazing. Uh oh. Jesus. That's my phone going off. I think it's about work. I might have to answer it. <laughs> Go for it. I can just cut out your audio and post. This is the most professional Let's Play show on the internet, everybody. <laughs> All right. Oh, fuck. Jesus. Really? Man, they're really throwing enemies at me. I do not like the reload speed of this gun. I'm kind of wondering if I should go back to the SMG. I am really getting turned around, but I think I'm going the right way. It feels like I'm getting into new areas. So, yeah, this isn't the same one as before. Yeah, I I'm gonna shoot those. There we go. Can I get a kill here? I, I seem to kill when I don't hit the head. That's the confusing part. All right, can we just skip through here a bit? What's in here? A cherry pie. That's definitely safe. Absolutely delicious. Yep. Nope. Did I get the money? Here we go. Not that I need it. Auto bullets. Uh, this way? Again, I'm getting really turned around. I'm not convinced I'm going the right way. You know what? Let's reload here while there's no danger. Well, turns out our uh, one of our coworkers just quit. <laughs> okay, that's weird. Yeah. Huh, did you see it coming? Yeah, it was bound to happen eventually, but uh, it was bound to happen eventually like three months ago. Oh, you're just surprised it happened now? Yeah, because why did it take so long? Why did they just hate the job? They were getting burnt out. Ah, oh, uh, I'm getting called again. Hold Jesus, on. Jesus, weirdest let's play, everybody. Hooray. Okay, is it actually? Yes, it's dead. Okay. Where am I going? Lollipop, whatever. All right, I'm definitely going the right way. We are getting into new areas. I should reload through every door. Cutscene? Okay, I gotta be ready for quick time events, though. Okay, we're back where we started, but we couldn't get around those ca those couches before. Because we're <sighs> too stupid to climb a couch. So this is definitely progress. Huh? Uh. Yeah. Yeah, that's a mirror. That wasn't on it a second ago. Ooh, the stock blood effects. They do not look good in this resolution. <laughs> that fucking smile. Oh, I got my thumbnail. Reverse peace sign. 
All right, what do we see? Rinko Killer. And a woman. Woman. It honestly doesn't look like Becky to me. Because the blonde hair. Becky's not blonde, right? Doesn't she have like a reddish brown hair? I, that's, I'm pretty sure that's Becky's voice though. Okay, that must be her on the ground then. It seems like she's tied up. Honestly, I kind of feel like we saw everything we needed to in that. We saw the things that kind of put it all together. Uh, his feet. Uh, combat music makes me think I've got to kill him. But I don't know why. Was that it? So the managers get impossible to get in touch with right now, so I'm gonna see if I can do something about this. Awesome! This is the yeah. best timing in the fucking universe. Right? Well, yeah. we're, we're probably ending the episode in a couple minutes anyway. Oh. All right. I, okay. Oh, we got another profiling, by the way. We could see that it, it probably is Becky. She was blonde in the video probably. for some, well, she's blonde in the video for some reason, even though Becky isn't blonde, but it was definitely Becky's voice. And Maybe it was her twin sister, Nikki. Uh, isn't, Be doesn't Becky have a sister? It's, uh, Diane of the art oh. gallery, because they're both Ames. What do you know? Yeah. It's, uh, Becky and Diane Ames. Red seeds. Did we just get another oh. piece of evidence right next to the other one? I was going to say that looks more like a music box, but yeah. Okay. <sighs> uh, that was another right facial expression. Okay, another profiling, like back to back. So yeah, I see the body in the front there and then Rainco Killer back. See, blonde hair, I think it's just the overexposure maybe. We see the piece mark, so we know it's the same person that we've been seeing at the other crime scenes. So this confirms for us what we probably already knew from earlier in the game when we were dealing with Becky's shit, is that she was holding out and she totally knew more than she said. So she knew who the, ki the killer was, probably, and she just mm. never fucking told us, and it looks like she's probably dead now. Oh, we just lost our lead witness. Are we there she is! Are we supposed to be scared of just random zombies at this point in the game? We've killed so many of them. And like, by this Good. point of the game, we have proper weapons. Bullseye. Shot. Bullseye shoots him in the shoulder. There we go. Come on, die faster so I can go through the door. All right, do we have like a save point coming up? I don't remember how big this one is. Oh, hey, that's fucking hey. convenient. Wow. Back to start. Right when I said it. All right, so we're done that whole section. Uh, let me just save right there. All right, and in between episodes, everybody, uh, what a geek is gonna go deal with whatever work-related thing he has to deal with. This is this is an episode like two. We've been working on it for like two months, and of course, this is when they have to call you about everything. I mean, it's because <laughs> the manager is kind of an idiot and not wanting to answer his damn phone. And uh, I live with the guy, so just whatever. Yeah, and and now I'm the you... second in command unofficially. I'm yeah. still just like a shift leader normally. Might so, as well be assistant and manager. Now you need to deal with this bullshit. Until next time, yeah. have a nice day. Fuck part-time.